Hello there, my friend. It is always so very nice to see you. But when I look at your face, I, I can see it right now. Yes, I can see that you're dealing with something most unfortunate, aren't you? You're dealing with pain. You're dealing with a pain that seems to linger. Pain from an injury you've sustained that, no doubt, has left you feeling very vulnerable and very, very hopeless. The truth is, pain, injury, it matters not if it's physical or emotional. The effects can be much the same for each. The person feels defeated, overwhelmed, hopeless, perhaps even useless. It is but one pathway to despair, one pathway to personal suffering that does not seem to end until one day that pain is gone. But in the interim, as your injury lingers, it feels as though it will never go away. Am I right? Fear not, my dear friend. I, dear, shall talk you through this ordeal. For you see, Dio too has undergone his fair share of pain, his share of injury, torment. Seemingly never-ending, but there is always, always hope. You see, throughout my life, before and after my transcendence to the kind of man I am now, I have repeatedly experienced my own moments of suffering, inscrutable pain, excruciating. <laughs> you would say it felt as though mine own flesh was being torn from my body, in some cases literally. Ah, such despair in those moments. I remember for a time I was bound to a wheelchair. It was in my youth. It was within my early twenties. Such a miserable pain. There was a great fire in this instance. Yes, I recall my days bound to that chair until my body could heal. And even for me, one who you know can heal so very quickly, it was truly, truly a painful experience. And then there was my solitude. My century of floating adrift. In that time I had no company but mine own. And in that time, what did I have but darkness and a barely functioning body, inching ever so closer to the scent of freedom? The slightest hint of it would be so very alleviating, yet I lingered unhealing. I think of my childhood, loath I am to speak of it. I think of the many trials that I underwent growing up. I think of the physical pains I endured, especially in my early twenties. Ah, they were truly, physically, the worst I've ever known. Physical torment I would not wish upon you, my dear friend. But I tell you of these horrid things, not to wallow in self-pity, or to minimise your own suffering. No, I, dear, 
tell you these things, because I understand your pain. I look in your face and I see the wincing. Each moment, only to come crashing back down to your painful reality, where that thing which has ailed you, caused you so much suffering, is sitting right there before you. It cannot go away. It feels as though it will linger for all your life. And perhaps, to some extent, it might. But whether it is a scar of the body or the spirit, those scars are mementos of what you've experienced. I, dear, have suffered a great deal, but I would not be who I am now if not for those pains. I would not have achieved what I've achieved if not for those many shortcomings, those many ordeals that left me broken, beaten, things I loathe to speak of at any time. One does not like to reminisce on their shortcomings, and I, Dio, rarely like to acknowledge their existence myself. But for you, my dear, dear friend, I will tell you. I will revisit these traumatic times. And I will do so because I know, just like Dio, you will survive. So long as the pain does not break you, even if your life were to end, you would not be defeated. You would not be surrendering. You, my friend, will be strong. It is not enough to simply heal. The experiences we have, the trauma we carry from our pain, it is part of the healing process, one which I have undergone many times in my long life. May your faith in a strong future give you that which you seek. May it be the source of your healing, the source of your recovery. May it set you free from the agony that wakes you up at night, causes you to, to claw at nothingness, desperate for some relief. Remember that I, Dio, know this pain, and can tell you that even if it endures, so long as you can overcome it with your own mind, you shall never suffer again. You shall never hurt again, because you are strong. And if you ever feel too weak, if you ever feel you cannot go on, feel that it is beyond you to endure, you need only look to me. Look to those who care for you. Look outward and inward, and remember, you are not the first nor the last to suffer such pain. But you will be the first to ever know your own, and in the end, you will be the only one to overcome it. Your own personal mountain to climb. I do look forward to the day when you have scaled that great, great, great monument before you, and you can leave your pain, your injury, your suffering behind you. Whether it is a broken body or a broken spirit, both can be mended. You need only the resolve and the will to do so. Get well soon, my friend. Get well soon.